Rockchip's RK3588 octa-core processor has been getting a fair bit of attention with its inclusion on single board computers like the Rock 5 Model B. People have been calling the Rock 5B a bit of a Raspberry Pi killer, but others argue that due to the software support of these board vendors lagging behind Raspberry Pi, they are put at a significant disadvantage. However, I think that as the presence of alternatives to the Raspberry Pi increases, it can only mean good things for makers like me and you. In this video, we're going to review the Mechatronics R58 Mini PC. This single board computer is based on the same RK3588 system on a chip. However, unlike the Rock 5B, this board appears to have flown under the radar a little bit. This board can be configured with up to 16GB of RAM, 64GB of eMMC storage, and in this video we're going to take a look at the features on offer, as well as benchmarking it against alternatives like the Rock 5 Model B and Raspberry Pi 4. As a little bit of a spoiler, I think that this board is a great tool to use if you want a bit more power and to learn a bit more about getting things to work with Linux than you would if you had a Raspberry Pi. On the topic of learning, this is a great time for a quick message from this video sponsor, Brilliant.org. As an engineer by traditional education and trade, I really wanted to dive deeper into the world of computer science to broaden and further my career. Something I really wanted to explore was how to stay ahead of how AI is changing our workplace. And by using Brilliant's computer science courses, I was able to refresh the basics of computer science and learn more advanced topics like neural networks. Brilliant makes learning intuitive and interactive, so go try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash learn embedded systems or click the link down in the video description. The first 200 of you that sign up with that link below will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Mechatronics makes a variety of single board computers, many of which are based on this rock chip RK3588 processor and appear to be aimed at industrial applications with their pretty serious aluminium cases. I think that these units are mainly sort of put in the digital signage um, category of, of applications. However, I think they make pretty good mini PCs or Raspberry Pi alternatives. The R58 mini PC is available in two flavours, if you will. There's one with this pretty sturdy aluminium housing and one without. And there are three sub variants of each. With the case, you can get four gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage for 189 US dollars. There's eight gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage, which is $223. And the 16 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes storage version is listed at $259. Without a case, you can get a bit of a discount with the lower model with four gigabytes of RAM being listed at $154. Eight gigabytes of RAM comes in at $188 and the top spec model is $224. These prices are from Mechatronics Made in China trading page, and although there are AliExpress listings, these prices appear to be a bit more considerable than MSRP. Looking at the competition, the Rock 5 Model B comes in at approximately $150 for the variant with 8GB of RAM, and about $190 for the 16GB variant. However, many retailers are putting a considerable margin on top of that, about $40 to $50 in my experience. I also consider the Raspberry Pi 4 to be a competitor despite the weaker processor and the pricing for the Raspberry Pi 4, here in the UK at least, is all over the place. Theoretically, the 2GB uh, version can be had for about £50 or $60. The 4GB version bumps this to $63 or $75 and the higher models stretch closer to $100 for the 8GB version. Other RK3588 powered boards like the Firefly Core 3588, can be had for about $200 for the starting version, but this actually requires um, an extra mainboard to get the connectivity that you would get from the R58 or the Rock 5 Model B. Now let's take a look at what we get for our money. In the box we get the R58 mini PC itself, a 12 volt power brick, an infrared remote control without batteries but with a USB receiver, although there is one on the mini PC already. We get two Wi-Fi antennas, a USB-A to USB-C cable, and this is used to flash the firmware onto the device. We also get a HDMI cable, and we also get a Flexi PCB to SATA adapter. 
Looking closer at the R58 Mini PC, we see that the case is really solid with some mounting holes in um, case you wanted to bolt this to something. In terms of dimensions, in the case it comes in at 115 by 150 by 30 millimeters, and you can remove the board from the case. To do this, you need to remove the four Phillips screws from the front plate and remove it. Then slide the top plate off. Then remove the four screws highlighted here, and then you can carefully remove the antenna connectors and gently lift the board out. With the board out of its case, it measures in at 110 by 110 millimeters. If we look at it next to a Raspberry Pi, we can see that the R58 Mini PC will take up a bit more real estate. Now let's go over the features of this board. As previously mentioned, this board is powered by the Rockchip RK3588 SoC, which is an octa-core processor with four powerful ARM Cortex A76 cores clocked at up to 2.6 GHz, and these are supplemented by four ARM Cortex A55 lower power cores which are clocked up to 1.8 GHz. There is a quad-core ARM Mali G610 GPU, which seems to provide all the video encoding slash decoding grunt that Rockchip advertise. This board here has 16 GB of LP DDR4X RAM, but there are options for 4 or 8 GB as well. There is 32 or 64 GB of eMMC flash storage. Wireless networking is provided by the Ampac AP6275P wireless module, which gives us dual band Wi Fi 6, uh, 802.11 ABN ACAX, as well as Bluetooth 5. There is gigabit Ethernet as well. There is quite a generous port selection for a single board computer, and it highlights probably the intended use case of this board, which I think is digital signage. We have four USB ports one USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, and one USB-C port, which can also carry a DisplayPort signal. The USB-C port is used to flash the firmware onto the device as well. In terms of display connectors, we have two HDMI 1.2 connectors with a max output of 8K at 30Hz, as well as a HDMI 2.0 input port with a max input of 4K at 60Hz. There's also a DisplayPort 1.4 connector on the side and the USB-C port we just mentioned. There are a couple of miscellaneous connectors, including two UART and two GPIO headers that can be used to interface with sensors and other things. Just a warning, uh, these connectors are blocked by the case, so if you want to use them, you'll either have to bend these connectors and really tuck them in, or just not use the case. Unfortunately, there isn't a larger set of header pins like the Raspberry Pi, but the UART and GPIO is better than nothing. There is also a SATA connector, but it is not standard, um, and is instead a ribbon connector, a bit like the camera connector on a Raspberry Pi. Fortunately, there is an adapter provided, as you may be hard pressed to find one that would fit this 14 pin ribbon connector. I think that there are a few laptop ribbon cables to SATA adapters that might work in this case. So that sums up the main features of the board. Now let's move on to the software side of things, followed by some benchmarks. Mechatronics provides four images that you can use on this board. Installed by default is Android 12, um, but you can flash it with BuildRoot, which is an embedded focused Linux distro, Ubuntu 20.04, and Debian 11. Flashing the firmware is done via an external computer connected to that USB-C port, um, and the board does have to be powered up for this. You will need to use a programming tool that is provided, but unfortunately for me, not all the application was in English, so you'll have to carefully follow the instructions. To boot the device into programming mode, you will hold down the recovery button and then hit the reset button. Once the firmware is flashed, the R58 PC will now reboot into your OS of choice. Mine was Ubuntu, which seemed to work fine. Now let's move on to some benchmarks. When testing this device, I decided to test it as I received it, so to speak, or at least in its intended use case. So I tested the board while it was in its case and without a fan or any active cooling. You could definitely squeak some extra performance out of this board by doing this if you wanted. I'm going to compare the R58 Mini PC to an 8GB Raspberry Pi 4 and an 8GB Rock 5B. In Sysbench, the R58 and the Rock 5 are very close and score about double what the Raspberry Pi 4 does. In SmallPT, the Rock 5 pulls ahead of the R58 
but they both still demolish the Pi-4. In Cormark, both the R58 and the ROC 5B score very similar results, as expected for the same chipset, and scoring well over double the Raspberry Pi 4. I think I've made the point pretty clear now that the Raspberry Pi 4 Broadcom processor isn't really on the same level as the RK3588 chip, so I won't compare these from now on. The R58 beats the ROC 5 in OpenSSL, but then the ROC 5 returns to with a win in PyBench. Looking at more encoding tasks now, when transcoding a WAV file to FLAC, the R58 completes the task about 5 seconds faster than the ROC5, and when encoding an X264 1080p file, the ROC5B wins by about 2 frames per second. We can see that in these benchmarks, the ROC5B and the R58 are both pretty comparable in terms of performance. Now, I wanted to test the SATA connection, as I wasn't especially confident in the ribbon connector. Um, both in terms of its durability and how much power it could transfer. But I hooked up a hard drive and I just couldn't get it to work at all. Um, it's a bit of a shame that there isn't a full-size regular SATA port on, uh, and separate power on this board um, for, to help me debug this problem. Even if it did work, there isn't really an elegant way of mounting this on the case if it, if it did. Moving on to some thoughts and conclusions of this board. I quite like the R58 mini PC when it is used as something like a home server, or as the name suggests, a mini PC. I don't think it's a Raspberry Pi replacement or alternative, and I think that is shown by the cut down what I would call maker IO, like the 40 pin header connector. But there are still plenty of things to do with this computer, and it is remarkably powerful. So if you are looking for a low power, good performing, and not too expensive machine to tinker with, and stretch your Linux skills a little bit, then I think that the R58 is definitely something to consider. It stacks up well with the ROC5 Model B and is a good alternative. So if you are looking for a Raspberry Pi replacement due to the, uh, the stock issues at the moment, then I'd probably give this one a pass. But if you are looking into getting one, I think that the configuration that has the best value to performance sweet spot is probably the option with the case and eight gigabytes of RAM as well as 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage, which comes in at $223. If you know you aren't going to use the case, then by all means go for one without, but I don't think you're going to be able to find a better solution for storing it for the $30 difference in price. So let me know what you think of the Mechatronics R58 Mini PC down in the comments below. Thank you very much to Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and if this video has been interesting, then please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with new single board computers as they come out. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a nice day.